Hello, and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today, we're going to be talking about potential Tropical Cyclone 9 and possible Tropical Storm Isaias. So, we have a very strange name for this one. I've been, like, listening to uh, videos online for the pronunciation of this because you, you would think it's some other name, but it's Isaias. So, I'm just going to try and say that as much as possible so let's start with the warnings and cone images because right now this is a potential tropical cyclone it'll stay this way for probably through the rest of today now 8 a.m. on Wednesday it is forecast to become a tropical storm we already have tropical storm warnings issued for parts of the Leeward Islands the US Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and we also have tropical storm watches issued in areas of the Dominican Republic and possibly even in Haiti. Now, if this forecast cone is right, the NWS is forecasting this to hit Florida as a tropical storm. Now, a tr this tropical storm will probably be on the low end at this point, but the main threat will, with this will probably be some winds and also a little bit of flash flooding. I don't, I don't think that storm surge will be an issue. Speaking of winds, let's actually move on to the arrival time of winds and 5 day wind speed probabilities. So right now, we're actually at the highest point of the winds. We have 100% chance of winds in this purple area. I think we're just waiting for the area of low pressure to kind of tighten up a little bit. It's very broad. In the past couple of videos, we have went over this storm and it set a broad area of low pressure. So we're kind of waiting for it to kind of condense, get that circulation in there, kind of see if it'll act a little bit more tropical-like. But you can see if you're in red or purple, that's 70 to 100% chance of receiving tropical storm force winds. Anywhere in these oranges, that is 60 to 50 to 70 percent chance of tropical storm force winds. That includes parts of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Now, if you're in 30 to 40 percent chance, that's just yellow colors. That includes all the way up to the Bahamas and through most of Puerto Rico. And if you're in these green colors, that is anywhere from 5 to 30% chance of receiving tropical storm force winds. And that includes most of Florida and even parts of Georgia. So, if you live in the U.S. Virgin Islands or Puerto Rico, you should expect to see these winds coming in at the earliest, Wednesday at 8 a.m. or Wednesday at 8 p.m. If you live in Florida, Friday at 8 p.m. is probably your time frame there. So, I do want to go over the key messages here. So, potential tropical cyclone 9 will produce heavy rains and potentially life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides across the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Tropical storm conditions are likely across portions of the Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico Wednesday through Thursday, and tropical storm warnings are in effect. Do not focus on the details of the track of the storm as rainfall and wind hazards will extend far from the center of the system. The details of the long-range track intensify and intensify forecasts are more uncertain than usual since this storm does not have a well-defined center and could move over portions of the Greater Antilles later this week. However, this system could bring some rainfall and wind impacts to portions of Hispaniola, Cuba, the Bahamas, and Florida by the end of the week. Interest there should monitor its progress and updates to the forecast over the next few days. So with that, I do want to go to the home for the National Hurricane Center. I just want to go over the current stats. Right now, it has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. So again, that is tropical storm force. It has min minimum center pressure of 1,007 millibars. It is moving west at 23 miles an hour, so a very fast moving system. And then we have the formation potential. So within the next 48 hours, which the National Hurricane Center is expecting this to form, it's 80% and in five days, 90%. So we're definitely gonna see something with this storm. Something's gonna happen here. But 
either way, if it does form, if it doesn't form, we're going to be seeing these impacts. Strong winds, flash flooding, mudslides, heavy rain. So most of your tropical storm impacts except for some possible storm surge. So I do want to move on to the tropical tidbits. I want to move into the North Atlantic here. So here is potential tropical cyclone 9, possible Isaias. So if we move through here, you can see that it kind of starts moving north. It's been moving west, now it's going to start moving northwest. It's going to kind of ride these islands, maybe make landfall. Now it's showing that it's going to go through, kind of regain some strength through Hispaniola. And then what I've been seeing with the GFS is that it's been showing as once it gets through the Bahamas, it weakens a lot. So at that point, it's a very, very, very weak, probably a post-tropical cyclone or even a just nothing, just a system once it gets into Florida. But it looks like it's going to stall out over Florida. So at least that's what the GFS is saying. So possibly a lot of rain in the southeast, the very, very southeast of the U.S. So let's move on to here, where I do want to cover the winds of this storm, because that is what will, and how tightly, one, the strength, two, how tightly wrapped the winds are, will affect how the storm really comes to be it will, will it stay a potential tropical cyclone will it continue to be a invest here will it strengthen to a tropical storm i'm kind of waiting for this to load here this is kind of being a little bit slow all right just come on So while we wait for this to load, comment in the comment section down below, do you think that Isaias will become a tropical storm? Do you think it will say a potential tropical cyclone? Do you think that Florida will be impacted with tropical storm force winds? Let me know your perspective on this storm, because there's definitely a lot of cards with this storm, and there's a lot of variables. So here's what we're currently watching. We're kind of looking for this green here, a consistent green color. So, you're kind of seeing it on the north side here. Then you start to see it more when it gets past these the Leeward Islands and through Hispaniola. And then it kind of, yeah, that's probably depression strength. And then at that point, it's nothing. So, then it kind of disintegrates in the Gulf here. So we are definitely looking at the storm earlier in the week, possibly even a hurricane hitting North Carolina. Now it is kind of going to be really weak. It is, there's a, actually I'm going to show you this on the relative humidity. Because you could actually tell on the relative humidity, it is actually really surprising. So uh, you can start to see it here. I'm just going to try and go back to the start here, wait for it to load, and then uh, we'll get to it. Alright, so, you can see, look, all, look at all this brown ahead of this system. That is drier air. So, this has a lot of moist air, a lot of that tropical moisture, and here, there's a lot of dry air. Now, storms need moisture, that's how it works. So, if, the, if it's not really moist up a up ahead of this system it's going to kind of stall out as you can see the dry air is starting to affect the system and all that moisture is starting to bleed off even though it's out to sea and then eventually it'll make landfall and then that moisture will be even less another thing that you have to look at is actually i want to try and find something that will show that uh, yeah, 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 Does, doesn't any of them have the surface temperatures? 
Let's try this. Okay, none of them do. That's kind of sad. But, uh, here, the European model. Well, actually, look at this here. This goes every 24 hours, so this is kind of be going to be just a little sneak peek at what the European model actually thinks with the storm. So we have currently right now, it is showing those Tropical Storm Force winds. Then you see that it's showing that it's going to intensify. Then you can see that this is probably Hurricane Force here. It's at least, or at least getting close to. This is like 50 knots or so. So then you see it's also showing once it gets through the Bahamas, it's going to weaken a lot. So by the time that it gets to Florida, you're really not going to be seeing much of those tropical storm force winds. So this cone here, I would expect to get downgraded, much like we saw with Gonzalo. It showed that it was going to be a hurricane right before it hit Barbados and... St. Vincent and the Grenadines in Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, but then that got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back until it just didn't have that strength and it ended up just being a tropical storm the entire time. With this, it's expected to be a tropical storm for a very long time through Sunday. I think that you're going to start seeing tropical depressions in tropical depression and signs in starting to encroach on. Florida, so this will probably become a tropical de depression indicator then possibly here I think that this would be a tropical storm within this time frame that's probably about it so we definitely have to watch this system there's a lot of variables again comments in the comment section down below what do you think is going to happen with this storm because there's a lot of effects that this is going to to have to take in you have the dry air you have any wind shear you have the surface temperatures Gonzalo just kind of moved in this area and just in general you had a lot of lots of waves off the, the Gulf Coast and through the East United States so comments in the comment section down below what do you think is gonna happen I definitely want to know your opinions well I'll get back to you all We'll have a little chat, kind of a little debate on what's going to happen with this storm. And I'll be watching this very closely, especially if it's going to hit Florida. So I will see you guys next time.